has the nation's largest cocaine smuggler been revealed to be the Drug Enforcement Agency? Well, for decades, it's been rumored that the United States government was secretly sponsoring the smuggling of cocaine into the country. Federal officials have long denied such speculation, pointing out the billions of dollars spent intercepting drugs. Newly released documents and testimony from Justice Department and DEA officials now show the stories of government running cocaine are in fact true. An investigation conducted in Mexico found the American government allowed that country's largest drug cartel, Sinaloa, to operate without fear of persecution. That group is estimated to be responsible for 80% of the cocaine coming into the United States through Chicago. In exchange, the leaders of Sinaloa provided the Drug Enforcement Agency in Washington, D.C. information on their rival gangs. The drug cartel working with the federal government is run by Joaquin El Capo Guzman. He is considered to be the world's most powerful drug trafficker. And in addition to Chicago, his group also maintains cocaine operations in several major cities around the nation. Written statements were provided to a U.S. district court in Chicago confirming the alliance between the DEA and Mexico's largest cocaine cartel. The written testimony, combined with other evidence, shows the Drug Enforcement Agency officials met with leaders of the Sinaloa cartel more than 50 times between 2000 and 2012. This would mean DEA authorized drug smuggling goes back to at least the beginning of the George W. Bush administration and continued for a year under Barack Obama. One of the group's leaders, Vincente Zambada Nivella, claims that the American government also sent military-grade weapons to the Sinaloa cartel. According to the latest revelations, it was these weapons which were part of the Fast and Furious scandal. Automatic firearms, which disappeared during that operation, led by Eric Holder, were used to kill U.S. border agents. This latest evidence and testimony points towards a massive scandal involving both Republican and Democratic administrations. At the very best, this provides the best evidence so far that the federal government was sponsoring the smuggling of billions of dollars of cocaine into the United States. Worse still, weapons purchased for the United States military have been sent to the cartel and used to kill American agents. Those actions transcend any party politics. The jury's still out. We'll follow the story and bring you the latest.